Hello everyone, welcome to left hand exercise number 4. This lesson will continue what we left off from the last lesson. In the last lesson we practiced hammer-ons. In this lesson we will work on the opposite of hammer-ons. This is pull-offs. Let's get started. Okay, in the last lesson we did hammer-ons looked like this. One, two tap. One, two, tap, tap, and came back down. I hope you practice that. Now, this time, in this lesson, what we're going to do is pull off. This is what I mean. Those two fingers already down, first and the middle finger, first and second finger, then Right hand pluck the two, then pull. Again. Next string. Two, pull. One, two, pull. Come back, back down. Two, one, two, one. Okay, close up. Looks like this. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Coming back down. Next fingers will be two, three. Like this. Two, three, two, three. Oops. Two, three, two, three. Three, four. Hard one. I'm not gonna lie, it's not easy. Oops. Three, no, one, three. What's three, one? Last one will be four two, ring pinky and the middle finger. Now let's look at from this angle. Now let me show you what's very important when it comes to pull offs. So my second finger is on second fret, and the first finger is on the first fret. Then you pluck the second, it's the A, pluck with the right hand, then pull. Pull. Now look at what my middle finger does. When I pull, it rests on the third string. You see it? It's not flying off. It's not that. Pull again. Lean onto the next string, so to speak. And the first string. Lean onto the first string. Ring on to second string. Ring on to the third string. Now, you don't want to fly off. You can barely hear it. There are techniques like you intentionally just pull to the sky this way, but 
For now, I want you to practice this leaning onto the next string technique for the regular pull-offs. Firmly rest on the next string. Two, three. You see? This is going to be heard. Four, three. Hmm. Those two fingers are hard to control. One, three is relatively easier. It has a lot of real life application. But oh, that was loud. You want to practice this a lot. One, four, same thing. This happens a lot. Lean. Last one, two, four. Or four, two. In that order. Just like that. Okay, let's review a few things before we wrap up. Again, when you pull, you lean onto the next string. That's one thing. Remember that? Oh, there's no string, okay. Lean. Lean onto the next string. Make sure those two notes, first note, second note, sounds as even as possible. Has to be loud enough to pull to match those two notes. All right. Now again, I want you to practice rhythmically accurately. So, metronome time. I'm playing eighth notes on tempo, 40 beats a second. I cannot go any slower than this, but that's the speed you wanna practice on. Let's try this. One, two, ready, go. Okay, how did that go? Now, if that was still too fast, you can try this speed. The 60 beat per minute goes like this. Maybe easier, that's okay. And so forth. Now, let's make sure you know if you see me play, do you see my thumb? Of course not, because my thumb is on the back. You cannot bring a thumb up and do this. I could do it, but after that, three, four, forget it. 
It's very uncomfortable. Thumb on the back of the neck again. If you see it, my fingers are pretty parallel to the fret wires, like this, not this. Parallel to the fret wires. Three, two, three, two, or four, three. Okay, this is the end of the lesson four. The pull off is more difficult than the previous three lessons, but this is a very important technique. So I want you to practice really hard, all right? I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time, all right? Thank you.